I praise God. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. You know I'm on one. Anywho, um, just got back, getting ready to exercise again. I, I, I just, I don't know. God just got me there. Well, anywho, as I was sitting here doing paperwork and doing some stuff before I began my other exercise. So, anywho, um, God was saying, in this season, thus saith the Lord. This is a thus saith the Lord. This is why people are not obtaining true power from God due to power. I'm not talking about mouth power. Somebody write it in the car. I'm not talking about mouth power because everybody got mouth power, truth be told. Thus said the Lord, in this hour, do exactly what he said to do. Don't look to the left. Don't look to the right. Be totally obe obedient. Totally surrender, said the Lord. Somebody write that in the comments. Totally. Not halfway because halfway don't cut it no more. Oh, come on, somebody. It never did. So many people are doing and being moved in the flesh, especially in this hour. What feels good, what doesn't feel good. Truth be told, most of the time when God tell you to do something, it will not feel good to your flesh. Your flesh will be like, mm, I don't want to do that. But that's why you have to be more spiritually inclined, spiritually mature, so that you can do what God has called you to do, asked you to do. And that is that comes with preparation. You're not just going to get there. You know, God may tell you get up early in the morning. How many times, and I don't know who this is for, but I feel this in the spirit. How many times did God tell you, I need you getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, and you, you, you're sleeping? That's your preparation time. That's your time to hear from God. That's the time for God to empower you. That's that time to hear the instructions. You know, Joshua, y'all know I love Joshua, right? I just love the book of Joshua. That's my favorite book. In, well, I like a lot of them, but Joshua the first one. And I like Joshua 1 8 because it says, Meditate in this word day and night, and then you will make your way prosperous. A lot of people are trying to do it this way, that way, and I feel you because I've done it too. You know, we, we try to get connected to this one. That Oh, come on, somebody, I'm all down your street. You will go, you, you know what's going to happen? You will find yourself in situations you don't want to be in. You will find yourself connected to people God no, never told you to be connected to. I just said something. I just said something. In this hour, you have to wait on the Lord like never before. Move only when God said just like that. Stop moving on your own. I don't care who, what, it, whatever. Now, what are the steps? Conversation. Meditating with God. So you can get clarification. God, did I hear you right? Before I even release a word, I go to God two, three times. And I know I hear God, but I just want to make sure. So you have to get that clarification. Then after that clarification, confirmation. Then after confirmation, revelation. What is the revelation? Do I speak now? Do I be, be quiet? Stand still? Do I move? That's what's messing up a lot of people not understanding the timing of God and the precision of God. I just said something. It's real like that. It's not just about knowing God, loving God. It's about being instructed. And when you read the Bible, it was instructions. Even the tabernacle, we said, I want this cubic feet. I want, I want this length. This is the way our lives are supposed to be, whether we believe it or not. Now, the world tell you do A, B, C, D. And you see where this world is at, right? And everybody's in we have a big mess. Now God is trying to, ain't no trying, he's trying to get a message out using people because that's what God used. God used people. But he used people that were obedient. He used people that did what he said, how he said it. You want to see a powerful move of God in your life? Start being obedient. Start being surrendered. I come across people all the time, even in my lives, in my friends, whatever. Do what they want to do. Then when they get what they want to get, they want to cry. Me too. Guilty too. Back in the day, guilty. 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 You too. You too. No, no. It's time to walk with God. Not before God. <laughs> Not behind. Well, you can walk behind God. Because if he's leading, that's why things are not happening the way they're supposed to happen. And that's why things play out. Because if it's not God, it's going to play out anyway. Somebody write that in the comments. It's going to play out, honey. Him, them, whim. I didn't made up a word. You're not from Louisiana. <laughs> I'm serious here. I'm serious. It's time to get back to the oracles of God for real. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. 
So I just came to jump in and on. And you, you know, uh, the second day of the fast. Uh oh, gotta plug that in. Second day of the 21 day fast. People keep asking me, it's the same. I, I give the same fast all the time. Now, we're getting ready to go on a liquid fast. We haven't done that in a while. Okay, the instructions of the of the Daniel fast from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. just liquids. If you find yourself getting a little whatever. Go ahead, give, get yourself a fruit smoothie or some broth, vegetable broth, but don't don't deter from fruits and vegetables. It's a Daniel fast. Then after 3 p.m., that's when you eat your fruits and your vegetables. Try not to gorge. Try not to overeat. You know, eat sensibly. Um, try to stay away from acid, orange juice. Believe it or not, all that acid is not good for your stomach, especially if you're fasting. Um, prayer. That's, that's one of the most important things. Fasting and prayer go hand in hand. How, how, how does it go hand in hand? Okay. While you're fasting, pray. What we're praying for this world, the church, yourselves, your brothers and sisters in Christ, anyone who God tells you to pray from. You know, when I did that video earlier today, that was real. We got to get back to souls. People are hurting you don't see, oh, I'm about to go in, I'm about to go in. Let me tell you something about what the, the enemy doing. The enemy's trying to get everybody. I don't have no phone by me. <laughs> with the selfie. And, and, and you don't understand. I'm breaking the thing down. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. Do you. Don't worry about your brother and sister. You know, we went walking today, right? And there were some people actually living by the river. Hurt me to my heart. And I've always been like that since a little girl, you know, because my mother, she raised me well. And she used to always say, be respectful to people, especially when you see them on the street, because you don't know their story. I just said something. We're blessed. We're blessed. I'm going to say it again. We're blessed, even in our mess. We're blessed. Walk like it, talk like it, be like it. But more so, we got to get back to God. We got to put love back in our hearts. The enemy is trying to make us hate one another, attack one another. Oh, I'm about to go here. Devalue one another. And, and notice I've been talking on that for about two or three days. I'm going to tell you why. I'm watching it. This one trying to put this one up before this one. This one putting this one up because they think they got money. This one. Too many clicks and tricks. I, I don't roll like that. Never did. I don't like clicks and I don't like tricks. I go where God want me to go. I be who really God want me to be with. I, I minister to anybody that God says. I am, I can't be put in a box. You know how many times they've tried to put me in a box? I'm, I'm not, I, I'm talking about you guys. I'm not kidding. They wanted to give me churches. Mega, they wanted, uh, Dave and son, a handler. I mean, I'm not kidding. This was years ago. And I had to go stay with her. And they was putting, they was putting, they had dressed me, put diamonds on me. I told y'all this story for those that follow me. I ended up telling that woman, look, 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 a country this I can't do this I thought I could I'll be honest with you it wasn't me it was like I was being somebody I'm not and I thank God for the strength that he gives me be who God called you to be and if they don't like you they don't like you what whatever God bless you quit trying to impress people selling your soul to do things that is not of God I can't do it I I, I tried I, I, I'm very transparent I tried I tried to I can't do it because I end up I end up telling you about yourself. I'll be like, whoo, you better be alone, you better be alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just, I can't be who God has not called me to be for anyone or anything. No matter money, no matter fame. No, and I've been approached. You just don't know. They still approach me. And, and, and it sound good. It, it look good. But, but what I got to give up. Who I got to be. Mm, come on, somebody. What I got to do. Mm. Y'all ain't ready for me for real. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Mm -mm. You better look around. I only speak by the Spirit of God, especially these days. I don't play. Because it is your soul. Even this. Watch, watch, watch who feed your spirit. Watch, look, listen. Protect your eye gates, your ear gates, your mouth gate. Protect your spirit. Somebody write that in the comments. Protect your spirit, people. Because it's hot out here. It's hot out here. <laughs> what you what you think I mean? <laughs> but God, I'm going to say it again. 
but God. He's still the God I am. He is still Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Mekedah, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Rapha. He is God. And he's still on the throne. Don't be discouraged, but be encouraged, said God. And sometimes you might have to encourage yourself because, <laughs> Daniel, you might be in the den around lions. Okay? David, you might have to go hide in the cave. Just you and God. Come on, somebody. <laughs> so God bless you God keep you much love and much respect to every last one of you y'all know what time it is roll our soldiers for that is truly who we are <clears throat> God is raising up his army because we in a war yeah straight like that <laughs>